Hello Leo, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the 5th to the 11th, I believe, of April. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. Yep, the 5th to the 11th. So here we go. I shuffled all the cards before I turn on the camera. The Oracle cards go here, which are all for you. The Tarot cards over here. I read the cards, you decide if they apply to you. So the first one, Leo, is shared inspiration. Throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fulfills your heart. So go on vacation is what it sounds like. Find somebody you love and go on vacation. If only it was that simple. So the next one is 50 Childlike Devotion. So you have, you are a multi-talented complex being embrace and love who you are. So this is a Christmas wrasse and it talks about that when Christmas wraths are seen because they're hard to see they hide in the coral that's considered good luck. So you have shared um, creativity with somebody else coming up it looks like and a happiness that's going to be like childlike and luck. Alright so let me go to the charcoal wisdom deck. So you have Ace of Wands. So somebody is really attracted to you, very physically attracted to you, Leo. Two of Wands. So Two of Wands is somebody is trying to um, trying to choose, I feel like, between you and somebody else maybe even. So Princess of Coins. So Princess of Coins tells me somebody um, maybe places their person they go with on financial stability. So Queen of Cups. Well here's the love card too. So Queen of Cups is loving. So very loving, very nurturing. And then the Sun card Leo. Wow this is beautiful. So in this deck it means happiness, success, and then it has the chariot in here as well. So you could be moving, traveling, somebody wants to communicate, travel, move to you. Five of Coins. Five of Coins is somebody you um, who moved away from you or who you ghosted. Six of Swords. Somebody you moved away from. Somebody you moved away from because um, they couldn't make up their mind about something. Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is bad karma. So you moved away from somebody because you felt like they were going to get bad karma is what it looked like. Three of Swords. Ooh, they betrayed you. So there was a betrayal. You were happy. And then Five of Swords. Other people got involved. So other people, third party, everyone's involved, knows the end of their business. Queen of Swords. Some words were said that weren't very nice. And then an Ace of Swords. Ooh, and then somebody got cut out. Somebody got, um, like done being friends with some people is what I'm seeing. So let's switch over to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck. So yeah, a lot of people getting involved in a love situation. I feel like it was kind of, there was love, but it seemed like there was some sort of financial situation involved in that as well. Alright, so the first one is the world card. This is fate. This is saying things are going the way they're supposed to. to. If you dream and believe hard enough that what you want is coming to you, it's going to come. So Sea Queen is being balanced, stable, your emotions are in check. You see, um, looking back at how you've been wanting something for a very long time. So Fire Kitten is somebody coming in who doesn't care about anyone but themselves and then they don't even care about themselves that much. So the Emperor. So they could play it off like they are, um, they could have inner child issues I guess. They could have been hurt when they were a child and now they're just like, um, think they're the boss. Sea Kitten. So Sea Kitten is somebody who's in and out. They can see themselves in and out of your future, I guess, your life, and Ace of Earth. Ace of Earth is a letdown for you, some sort of, you're looking for stability, you're not into, um, God, I say that a lot lately, you're not into 
in and out kind of behavior from someone else. Nine of C. So nine of C is your future. They see you as having a very good future. Earth kitten. As long as you allow them to do what they want to do. And be childlike. Sea king. So sea king is somebody who watches you, who has a lot of emotion. And six of earth. Six of earth is somebody who's generous to other people. Generosity. So somebody misled. They use their generosity to generosity to try and mislead you. So Earth King. So Earth King talks about somebody in heaven supporting you in your dream. So I feel like you've had this dream for a long time and somebody who was supported you a long time ago is saying that they're supporting you now still. So Five of Fire. Five of Fire is conflict. A lot of conflict. Five of Earth is somebody watching you, driving by your house. I am getting that a lot. Cat Magic. A lot of luck for you, Leo. A lot of being stable. So, Seven of Sea. So, denial. There's denial around somebody in heaven. And then the floating cat. So, somebody's undecided about this chaos and this conflict. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, decision making involved going on. And there's a lot with friends going on, which you always have a lot of friends. Alright, so let's move on to the Oracle of E. And the first one is right side up number one. So you're going to land right side up no matter what. No matter what happens, you're going to be fine. And then just say no. This is the, like, I know the card is blue, how you spell no. So right side up and just say no. So you know you're going to land right side up with something. So maybe it's other people who are in denial and scared to move forward with you. And sticky wicket. So there's some sort of situation that um, you know could be sticky, like hard to release and get rid of. You already know this, but you're going to be fine either way. Alright, so the next one is Divine Connection 8. So she's holding a um, chakra bracelet in that lotus flower it is to me. She's in water. So with your heart, you're aligning your heart. You're going to be very happy. I mean, just say no. The Christmas rest, the dolphin family, the chakra, and then joy 26. Wow. So you're going to be happy. Your heart's going to be so happy. You're going to be in tune. You're where you're supposed to be. And the next one is wise one. Connect with your current situation. So there's something happening now that's going to make you stronger that they're asking you to connect with. You're supposed to be getting something, remembering or learning something from what's happening now. And they want you to try really, really hard to remember. Alright, so the next one for you is Lady. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. So, wow, you have a lot of knowledge. A lot of knowledge. This is abundance. The apple, things growing, the five elements of life, the seeds. You are so abundant. You could plant all five of those seeds and have five apple trees. That's how abundant you are, Leo. That is beautiful. So, wise one. You have it's a lot of knowledge of all different sources around you like yeah you do you're abundant so i hope this helps leo thank you so much for coming to echo catch your tarot bless you